Hi ladies and gents, this is a very very quick video to show you how the uh, how the valve works a very 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 basic understanding of how it works and how we can control it by allowing the electrons to flow just using the heater as I said uh, in one of my previous videos um, only electrons will flow and once the circuit is heated up right so if you were to take the heater away from a tube the whole thing would end up dead as soon as the whole thing cooled down and now to show you that flow right I've, uh, I've come up with a quite a unique way so uh, what I'm going to do is I'll put uh, about 80 volts sorry 120 volts on the table hold on oops what are you doing paperwork all over the place hang on <laughs> working on loads of stuff all at the same time <laughs> right I said what's my uh, AC come up now I've got no audio wise going into amplifier uh, I'm drawing some current I'm just turning my generator down at the same time what are you doing up there oh, I've gone too low right my DC is coming up that's the anode voltage at the preamp that coming down oh there's no heater on your fruit right what's this now because I'll allow current to flow as soon as the heater gets going right you'll see current start to flow and audio will start passing once I give it some audio let me just lock, lock me uh, trigger just hang on now because of the circuit on how it's connected with the transformer it's difficult for me to show you how I'd like to show you because uh, if I were to take if I had to take HT off or certain other things at the same time things start to get upset right for obvious reasons you know because the whole, the whole voltage just change up where around circuit so so but what I'm going to do now right is I'm going to drop the you can hear the amplifiers running well for this test I don't want it to do I don't want none of this really this PA to run I just want you to show you the current flow of the UCC83 with that tone going in at the moment right so we're putting our uh, 500 Hz tone in right just because it's easier for your ears right and um, so what I'm going to do now right I'm going to drop the mains off right so now the heater supply and the eye tension from him is over the heater supply and the eye tension from him is over but because he's running independently on DC you can clearly see that the heater's still rolling right so this scope now is coupled up to the preamps output so watch now when I give it some AF right you can clearly see now if I can just uh, turn my scope a bit because it's sunlight it's because it's sunlight folks I'm sorry about that can't really help it to. but anyway you can clearly see I'll keep coming up to it like that you can clearly see that it is amplifying right and uh, that's the voltage on the power supplies reservoir right now as it's running out now then watch this just watch this current will only flow as I said if the heater is rolling so if I now knock off the heater right now let me do that again so that you get a calibrate in your head now what's the voltage falling now that's from the reservoir falling that's the high tension anodes to the uh, anode of the of this valve both of them so you can clearly see it's falling and that's because the EWC83 is pulling current from the reservoir and it's trying to pass it on uh, because the heater's still rolling but watch what happens as soon as I remove its heater voltage will stop and then start going other way the capacitor will start rising right you see my heater's dropped off now at zero that means it's not pulling any current so my reservoir doing what a capacitor does capacitors capacitate the voltage and grab all them electrons and store them right now you can clearly see there that uh, my audio amplifier's input at the same amplitude has stopped 
the amplifier isn't running anymore, it's not passing any audio on, but yet there's 27 volts on the table, right, 28, and it'll just keep rising ever so slightly until it gets the highest where it can collect, you know. Um, now watch what happens when I give it the heater now, without doing outwork reservoir, I'll just give it the heater, so if we heat the chamber up, electrons will start to flow, so then it'll start draining the reservoir again and immediately she'll start amplifying <laughs> how's that for an explanation I could have made it like I say if this if this one here I could show you that better but so you can clearly see now it's just going down again as it's sucking juice from from power supplies reservoir so watch what happens when I remove heater again <laughs> it starts to fill reservoir remember mains input i.e. Tony over there is all off it's completely out of there in right that's the only voltage that's making it to anode of the 84 18 volts because our HT is off he's rising simply because the capacity of reservoir is rising right so you'll see if I were to put heaters on the old floor in all of that lot will change so he'll start as soon as heater gets going he'll start sucking some juice again and all lot will start falling as it's all sucking supply out of cap <laughs> how's that for an explanation folks is that is that has that done anything for you uh, can you see it now can you see them little smiley electron faces firing into anode now uh, as, but as soon as we rub it you can see it gains lowering all the time that's because uh, anode voltage is lowering all the time you see we're only, we're only at seven volts amazing and that's why you see some tubes come up again you'll see it rise again and you'll see him you'll see him start to stop amplifying as the heater cools down eventually you'll just stop amplifying as you can clearly see on exhibit D you know um, and that's why you see some tubes in certain circuits if the circuit and the tube can do it they can run on all kinds of voltages you can you can run an, an 83 on 12 volt or an 82 on 12 volt if you wire it in different ways so now it is back rolling again and we're sucking the juice out again quick video folks electron flow of a thermastic valve why wow, that's a right saying isn't it what should we call this video eh? I don't know. I don't I'll think of some all the best ladies and gentlemen.